The last mode here is called Special Features. And Special Features gives you the options of Move or Mask Rectangle. Basically, the Move Rectangle allows you to grab a portion of video, maybe this subject, and move it into another location. Um, mask Rectangle allows you to mask a portion of video, maybe mask the lower portion of the subject and replace it with the background. So we're masking a portion of the subject. So let's just try one of these here under Move Rectangle. We could say, let's move this rectangle. And the source area is saying, what source do we want to move? And we can set up the position and size box. Again, the upper left corner is where you first left click to lock that first part of the box, which you can then use to size and hit OK. And destination area is where do we want to move this information on the screen. And I might say, let's take and move him down here into the lower left corner. So that way we can take and move our subjects that are in front of the green screens and move them to different portions of the video. So a nice way to maneuver if it hasn't been shot properly to position your subject or your information into a new location in front of what's being keyed out behind them. So if we're finished with what we've got here on the screen, I'll go ahead and deactivate the Use button here so we'll keep them back centered on the screen and we'll click on the little FX button here to come back out to the main transitions menu. At this point you could then create your background and start creating it um, and this will start building your particular transitional effect. Uh, while this is creating a couple things to mention is if you are using longer scenes up here as a tip, if this was a one minute scene maybe with the anchor and the weather map in the background in this particular example, the sliders, the real-time sliders inside the Blue Box World program might be a little sluggish, mainly because it's trying to real-time preview a very long effect. So as a tip, you might try using a lower timer here on your effect, maybe a 5 to 10 second time of your transition, just to manipulate it and work with it in the Blue Box World program. That way you can actually get the real-time sliders to move a little more effectively and cleanly, and then once you've come back out and finished it, Come back up, set your timer for the full length of the two scenes, and then do your create. The other thing to mention too is remember Blue Box World here is acting as a transition. So we are merging scene A into scene B. And this is going to create a problem for your audio. You'll find that the audio is going to fade out from scene 1 and scene 2's audio is going to fade in. So you might need to use the scene sample button to take a copy of your audio from your background scene or your subject in front of the green screen. So that becomes an audio clip in your audio record menu, which you can add later and then mute this transitional scene in the mix window. That way you can have your audio and it'll still be in sync because it's going to be placed right underneath that same audio clip that has the original audio. So once your effect is rendered here, then you can play it to take a look and make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. If there's any improvements that need to be made, you can come right back in here to start the program and maybe adjust your modes or your tolerance sliders to improve the cleanliness of the image. Again, this is the main chroma key program of Blue Box World. Keying out a color on a scene and replacing it with another video clip. And this, of course, could be a moving video clip. For example, if maybe we had this uh, black film wheel up here and maybe we wanted this uh, title here in the background. This is just a uh, moving countdown film effect here. We can use Blue Box World to key out the black background from this animated film projector. And we got to add the effect, of course, to the storyboard and set the timer. And then enter in Start Program. At this point, you'd see your first frame of this wheel here. And we could set this to black to key out the black background and perhaps remove our aura. And then we'll have this moving projector appearing in front of this background countdown. So you can do this in front of moving video scenes if you wanted to. Um, you can have portions of maybe a green shape that you might have drawn with CB Paint or the Akaba Paint programs that you want to key, key in and replace video with it. So the Blue Box World program is a very powerful way to replace or mask colors within your videos. It also offers you options in the image processing menu. 
Uh, we are not going to cover these in detail. You can find in the Tips and Tricks series, volume number one. We do go in and cover how to come in and use Blue Box World to separate chroma so that you're basically removing all color in your video scene and showing how you can keep one particular color in this video by choosing your color choice and removing the saturation of all the background colors using your sliders in here. And again, this is something that's covered in our Tips and Tricks Volume 1, and it's another feature of the Blue Box world, and you'll find this is a very powerful and effective way to manipulate and change your videos using this amazing Blue Box world program.